didn't expect to see you in work today. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, just the way you were fussing over Robert in court. I thought you'd be off holding his hand somewhere. Right, whatever your family might think, Aaron's the one on a charge. Robert's the victim here. Hi, please, Jess. You really think I'm going to serve you after what you did to my son yesterday? Right. Well, if you won't, I will. Not if you want to keep your job, you won't. In case you don't notice, you're not welcome in here. Uh, look, mate, um, why don't you just go home? Hang on, Rob. I'm coming with you. It's, it's just getting worse. Yes, I can see it's causing a lot of trouble. And in the meantime, there's an innocent man whose life's in my hands. And I've done nothing. Well, I hate to turn business away, but shouldn't you be getting back to the pub? Not sure I've got a job there anymore. Charles is really mad. Well, what do you expect? You and Robert are trying to put her boy in jail. But if he shot Robert, then that's what he deserves. Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? Hmm, I suppose. Anyway, thank you for calming me down a bit. I'll part the service. Oh, I, um, I'm sorry. I didn't realise you were with someone there. I, I, I could come back later. No, no, it's OK. I really need to be getting back, see if I've still got a job. Thanks again, Bernice. Mm. I was wondering if you were going to show your face back in here again today. Look, I am really sorry about what happened this morning. Yeah, me too. I guess you were just trying to look after your own. Same as me. So, can we just forget about it? Suits me. Marlon's left you a load of washing up in the kitchen. Welcome back. Well, I was beginning to think you'd stood me up. Oh, I'm sorry, it's this thing on my mind. I've been given this information, I just can't pretend it hasn't happened. So, you've not decided what you're going to do? <sighs> there are people who will get hurt if I make this call just as a someone who's suffering if I don't. Ashley, I know you're going to solve this. How can you be so certain? Because you're a good man. The best I've known, and in the end, I know you'll do what's right. Right, well, I'd better go and collect Arthur. Thanks for having faith in me. I know what I need to do now. Andy, it's Ashley. I need to know what you meant by doing a deal. You must know that nothing can justify sending an innocent man to prison, so I'm giving you one last chance to do the right thing, or I'll have to call the police myself. You've left me with no other choice. choice. 